Greetings and welcome to New Planet School. In this video I'm going to give you your quick start guide to the concept of deliberate practice. Do you have anything that you'd really want to be good at? Do you feel like maybe you don't have the talent for it? Does it seem really hard to get good at certain things? Well, you're in luck because scientists have studied these problems and they can help you. So what science says is you need to practice and you need to practice deliberately. You need to practice a lot and you need to do it in a very concerted way. Presumably you know what practice is. That you, you, you should understand. What does deliberate mean? That is the key. To be deliberate is to do something consciously. In other words, pay attention to what you're doing it. Do it intentionally. Don't leave anything to chance. Do it fully considered. Think about your progress. Think about what you want to do down the road. Pay attention to what you're doing. And do not be impulsive about it. Do it in a very logical, consistent way. That is the way you need to practice. Science has, has studied the experts, and this is what is, is the path towards success. Of course, it's not fun to practice this way, so keep in mind that if you actually find that you're enjoying practicing, you are doing something wrong. It is how you practice, not how much. You've probably experienced playing the same guitar song over and over and over again. You never get better. You type every day at the keyboard. You never start typing faster. Okay, scientists have carefully observed the experts. You can go read the scientific literature to see all the, the data that supports this, all the disagreements. But in the end, deliberate practice is part of what it, it takes to make an expert. And they figured out precisely what those steps are. So let's see precisely what those steps are. The first step, be motivated and disciplined. Until you're motivated and disciplined, there's really no reason to start because all of the next steps simply aren't going to work. So get motivated or figure out how to make yourself motivated and be disciplined. Second step, obtain measurable feedback. You need to not be able to trick yourself or convince yourself of something. You need something you can measure, a time, a percentage, um, something that anybody would agree on and you can watch over time how that number is changing, how you're improving, how you're not improving. Next step, practice and practice a lot. But while you're practicing, observe what you're doing and figure out while you're watching yourself what is not working. Have teachers or coaches or other people observe you so that you can figure out from them what isn't working. They need to be able to help you while you're practicing to see what's working, see what's not working. Next step, once you've identified what's not working, what you want to do is practice your weakest performance areas. If it's easy and you've already figured it out, move past it. It's not going to help you anymore. Practice the hardest measures in the, in the piece that you're trying to learn. Practice typing the hardest letters that you can't type very well. Find the things that are weak. Focus on those things. Make them your best. Next. And finally, invent new ways to improve. This is all about you. If you want to be good at something, you need to understand yourself and invent ways for you to get better. Some method of practicing that worked for someone else doesn't matter. You need to look at yourself, invent new ways to make you better, be creative about it. So with that, go forth and practice so that it hurts. And I hope to see you back here at New Planet School very soon.